Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the Ethical Hacking course. And I just want to show you guys a little quick tip here. So um, quite a few of you guys have actually told me in the comment section uh, in my previous video regarding uh, using proxy chains that it gets really, really complicated and that you have to install the Tor service and whatnot. So um, I'm actually going to show you an alternative to that and how to anonymize your entire system using proxies, uh, more specifically the Tor proxies. So for this, you're basically just going to need the terminal, as I mentioned below, and you're going to have to install a, um, a program, actually a repository called AnonSurf or Anonymous Surf. So I have the repos right here. I will put them in the description section. So the first thing you have to do is you have to add the re repository, which is the anon, uh, anonserve.git from GitHub. Let's add that. Um, I already have it, so it's really pointless from my point of view. Uh, so the next step, once it's installed, uh, by the, uh, as I've said, my, it's already installed on mine. So I just have to browse uh, to the anonserf uh, directory, which you should do uh, after you've installed it. So once it's installed, uh, enter the following command, cd kali hyphen anonsurf, and it's going to take you into the directory. And uh, we want to just uh, list, and I really don't need that right now, ls, and we want to run the installer.sh or installer.shell file. So after you've run that, just run this and it's gonna install it i'm just gonna reinstall it on mine and uh, just let it complete and it should actually just take a few seconds and you're good so let's actually just wait for this to complete Alrighty, so once it's actually finished installing, which I had to do on mine, I'm going to clear the terminal. And what you want to do is just, I'm just going to go back into my uh, home directory. I'm going to clear that again. You you really don't need to do that. Uh, so basically how to, I'm just going to um, anon, uh, anon surf. Basically, we have installed the repositories and we are basically ready to use it. So anon anon surf um, and you wanna, I'm just going to use the help command just to basically show you guys how is simple it is so uh, basically to start it you have the start stop restart change and the status whether it's running so we have the start so sys start system wide anonymous tunneling under the Tor proxy so basically it's very similar to proxy chains as I demonstrated in the proxy chains video which will be linked in the description and at the end of this video so basically what this means is it's going to anonymize your entire system with the Tor proxies and uh, by restarting it you just basically get a new identity as you guys are pretty much I think uh, you, you understand that with Tor every time you, you can basically change your identities and what that means it'll change the IP and therefore change your identities. As for DNS leaks I'm not quite sure whether this really does work. I haven't really really tested that but uh, it should work using the Tor proxies. So you have the start stop restart change you can change the identity restarting Tor as I mentioned and this uh, you can check the status and you will show you uh, your country IP. So let's actually run this pretty awesome stuff. So uh, what I'm going to do is say anon surf uh, whoops anon surf and we're going to say start and it's going to start all right. Um, once it's started, what we're going to do is we're going to say um, anon surf status. All right. And it's actually running. So let's close this terminal because that's started a process. And we're going to just check uh, the stuff right now. Anon, anon surf help. And uh, let's check what our current IP address is. So my IP. Mm, it's taking a few seconds to load it. So there we are. It's given us an IP. We, we can't really actually tell 
what IP uh, or uh, what country this belongs to, but we can check that right now. So in the same process, I'm going to also check for the DNS leaks. So let's let me just check for for DNS leaks, and I'm going to use uh, DuckDuckGo. Uh, let's see how fast it'll actually load it. Uh, as I mentioned, sometimes the proxies, the Tor proxies, will will be kind of slow as you guys are already used to when using the deep web. But here we are. Uh, check for DNS leaks. Let's open that up. And uh, there we are. So it's saying uh, from Oslo, Norway. That's the IP address. Uh, we then have, um, we, let, let's check for uh, some actual DNS leaks and let's see if that actually worked uh, to def differentiate the IP from the DNS to change that. So this is basically going to provide us almost 100% anonymity as long as you stick to um, as long as you just keep on restarting the service. So let's see how long this takes. It should, shouldn't take all that long. All right, so I'm just going to check for another one uh, right here because that one is taking a, l a whole lot of time. Oops, uh, I should have uh, actually known that uh, Google would have uh, refused that. So let's actually just check from here. That's actually taking too long. Um, so let's start. Uh, let's see how fast this uh, site actually takes to calculate the results. So the IP belongs to Norway, Oslo, Norway in uh, particular. And basically, that's how you can actually do it. Uh, for the other services, you have I2P, which is really not important right now. It's quite an ISO, uh, up outdated uh, method. But basically, we can actually just um, change the identity. So, anonsurf um, change, which will basically, whoops, change. And it's going to change and it's forced the, to change to the nodes. So we can actually just check for DNS leaks one more time um, through the DuckDuckGo search engine because I don't want to go through a, a, a bunch of captures and stuff like that. So again, Paris, France. And let's actually just test this as many times as we can, announce of change. So it said France, and uh, let's uh, refresh this page. Let's see what we get. Again, the proxies might uh, slow it down quite a bit. But anyway, let's just see what we get. It's taking quite a bit of time on this one. Let's just restart the process um, and on surf change. Let's get uh, an, another one. Let's see what we get, another identity. Uh, let's restart the site again. Or actually, ju let's just restart it from the um, from the search engine because it's probably using the current cookies that it's loaded. So, whoa, it's actually giving us the same one. That's pretty weird. Um, so, what I think you should do is anon surf um, restart. Let's restart it, and it is going to restart. And let us actually try that again. Now, there we are. So basically restarting is more important or more effective than changing the identity as I had mentioned earlier in the video. So this is pretty much it guys. Uh, that's This is basically an alternative to proxy chains, just making it a whole lot simpler in, instead of going inside the proxy chains or configuration file and starting the tour service. So this basically, in fact, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mind using this when I'm, uh, when I'm performing scans or stuff like that, because it just makes it a whole lot simpler and easy. And it's actually working as you can see. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope this video helped you guys. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, hit me up on kick, hit me up on my social media. I'm always there to answer questions. Uh, please make sure you share this video in, in case a few people who need uh, this information can actually get it. Again, guys, thank you so much for the support on the channel. Thank you for watching my videos and have a fantastic day. Peace.